I wish I could have done a better job at protecting her. I'm always the butt of the joke. Uh, uh, I'm alright. <laughs> My name is Yukio Terada. I run a business of about 200 employees. I'm also single. This morning, I went to save a woman that was about to fall down the stairs and ended up breaking my own bones in the process. You've managed to dislocate and break your right wrist bone. You'll probably be in the hospital for about a month after your surgery. <sighs> How was the lady that I helped? We have her staying in the hospital to run some tests just in case, but it doesn't seem like she has any injuries. I see. I'm glad. It would have been kind of pitiful if I broke my bones for no good reason. I don't think so. The effort is plenty for women. Sorry, Mr. Terada. All the private rooms are currently occupied, but we'll be able to get your own room on Monday. Wait, Yuki? When I turned around, I saw an old classmate that used to always tease me. Tomoya Nakazaki was talking to me. Oh, hey. It's been since, what, graduation? You broke your bones too? Yeah, I kind of fell from some stairs. You went to that crappy college, right? Some things never change. Uh, yeah, I guess compared to your national university, it's crappy. I heard you went to a huge company have been breaking sales records there. Yeah. Oh well. Time to get some shut-eye and relax. Um, I'm so sorry about today. Oh, I'm sorry, you were relaxing. Oh, that's all right. Are you okay? I know it's kind of annoying that I fell down the stairs to save you. Oh no, I'm doing great. I have to stay for two days for the test, but I'm really doing wonderful. Let me introduce myself. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me grab my business card. This is like a business meeting, and it turns out you're one of our clients. You designed our logo. Yeah, I never expected to meet you like this. Hey, can we talk a little in the chat room? What a coincidence. Elisa Takasuki happened to be a big-time apparel brand employee that a company had done work for. We managed to raise sales tremendously thanks to your logo. I'm glad. I really don't know how to repay you. I can't believe I injured a famous designer such as yourself. Oh, don't worry about it. We have plenty of designers at work, so it won't be a problem for me to be out of work for a little bit. Can you come here tomorrow as well? Of course! It'll definitely spice up my boring life in the hospital. <laughs> so, what do you do now? I'm a graphic designer. I work with ads and websites. You must stare at your PC all day designing cheap coupons. Yeah, you're not far off. It's pretty tough designing coupons. Deciding what goes where and what would make people buy the sales items the best. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm sure you don't have a girlfriend. Actually, yeah. I wouldn't mind if you introduced me with someone you know. I've never really cared what Tomoya had to say about me. Tomoya was actually a really impressive fella. He never studied, but he was always top of the class. He was even an excellent athlete. Mr. Terada, you came! Yeah. Did you have the lunch today? It was delicious. Ah, I agree. It tasted like home. Elisa, I heard you fell down some stairs. Are you okay? I came looking for you because I couldn't find you in your room. Oh, hey! This is the gentleman that saved me. He's Mr. Terada from SF Design. Oh, the designer for our catalog? Why are you here? Tomoya? What the? Tomoya? Do you know the amount of trouble you caused just by disappearing on us? Yeah, I heard you've been stuck inside your house doing nothing. I mean, I wouldn't be able to show up to work either if I left the way you did. What? Tomoya's a shut-in? 
Seriously, he didn't even apologize or show up at all! What a terrible adult! Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I don't remember Tomoya being that kind of person. Are you sure there wasn't a good reason for this behavior? You know Tomoya? Yeah, we went to the same school from elementary school to high school. Huh, I never thought I'd see the day a crappy designer like you would be covering for me. A crappy designer? What are you talking about? He's the CEO of SF Design, and he even has a bunch of deals with us! Uh, CEO? Hey, I don't care if you're working or not, but why are you a shut-in? I broke down. I made a huge mistake and got chewed out by my boss. Luckily, he caught the mistake before it turned into any real problem. Then, I became afraid to do any work, and I couldn't go to the office anymore. I guess someone like you would be pretty shocked to experience failure. Why didn't you just tell me you were some bigwig CEO? But I know you don't want it to stay that way, right? I mean, of course. But I'm afraid I'll make the same mistake. You do want to work, right? I mean, of course. When I go look for jobs, they always tease me about my education. Even worse. I remember all the wrong things I've done, and I feel terrible. Boss, we brought your PC. All the data should be on here. We also brought some gifts from the employees in the office. Thanks, you two. Oh, by the way, this is our new employee. He'll be joining our sales team next month. Go ahead and let everybody know. What? What? Understood, we'll let them know. We have a great team of designers, but our sales team could use some help. I could use your help, just like old times. So as a first task, let's go apologize to World Enterprises. I'll tag along. What? I only ever teased you. Why would you help me? I don't think you remember, but when I was in elementary school, you saved me. I didn't like that teacher. You were fooling around. Be honest. Terada, explain yourself! Um, I'm sorry. I was watching, but Yuki didn't do anything. He's slow and easily pushed around, so everyone just pushed cleanup on him. Then, he tried to use the broom all alone and ended up hitting the vase. He's kind of slow like that. If you want to be angry, you should be angry at the guys who ran off and pushed it all on him. As you probably figured out by now, he wasn't a bad guy, he just had a bad mouth. I asked Elisa for some help, and she said she could schedule a meeting with us and her boss. We went to apologize, and also talk about future meetings with our companies. I'm incredibly sorry about what happened. Thank you so much for making this possible. Not at all. I was just glad I could repay someone who saved me. I also hope that this will help Tomoyo move on to the next stage of his life. Thank you! We'll stay in touch! Uh, uh, Mr. Terada! Would it be alright if I contacted you personally sometime? Of course! Thank you, boss. That's weird. Don't be like that. Work hard, okay? Tomoya became a key member in our company immediately. Our sales skyrocketed as soon as he joined our team. He could be a little afraid to fail sometimes, but he isn't afraid to ask me questions. Boss! We've secured a massive deal! So, Tomoya actually managed to secure a deal with Dekasugi Industries. Before the incident, he was actually the VIP on our sales team as well. That's why everyone was struggling to find a replacement. That makes a whole lot of sense. Our company sales increased massively thanks to Tomoya. We continued our growth throughout the year. Um, so, when will you come see my parents? I can go whenever you'd like me to. I was so glad that I saved Elisa that day. My name is Riku Kishijima. I've been working in a pretty terrible company for about five years now, and I leave the house at 5.30 a.m. every morning. Oh man, today has come again. Ugh, why won't the world just end? If the world ended while I was asleep, I wouldn't complain. Are there no evil villains scheming to end everything? Hmm? She's stupid sleeping on the side of the road like that? Hey, wake up! Some random old guy is gonna mess with you if you don't move. 
That's not nice. I don't really care, but you should sleep at your house. Nothing good will come out of sleeping here. But I don't have anywhere to go. Oh, great. Homeless. Whatever. Just go to my house and sleep. What? You're giving your house keys to some strange woman sleeping on the side of the road? What if I was a thief? I don't have anything worth stealing, and I don't even know where my bank information is. If you actually manage to find something worth stealing in my house, let me know. Wow. I don't think I've ever met anyone like you. I've been working crazy hours for so long, I can't even judge what's right and what's wrong. I have to loosen up some screws or I'll lose my mind. Do you understand? Uh, yeah. You're tired. I know. I'm so tired to even think. Just put the key in the box after you wake up. It's got a lock, but you can slide it in from the top. Wait, are you serious? I don't even know where you live. That apartment, second floor. I seriously have to go. I'm late. I don't know your room number. Seriously? I worked late again today. I wrapped up work around 10 p.m. <sighs> Where's the alien invasion? Then I don't have to go into work. Wait, didn't I get my key out this morning? Where did I ask her to leave it again? Hey, are you okay? You told me to leave it in your post box. Hmm? But you haven't gone home. Am I hallucinating? No, you're definitely seeing me in the flesh. Wait, was my room this clean? Dude, you left without telling me your room number. So I had to try to figure out which room it was by jigging the doorknob. You cleaned the room? Are you listening? I cleaned and cooked, though. Whoa, that's crazy. Did you even sleep at all? I feel like you probably had too much work to do. I lost any will to sleep as soon as I was trying to find a stranger's room. But I mean, I was happy that you let me stay at your place, so this is a thank you. Oh, uh, thanks. What is this? What? Was it that bad? I thought I was a pretty good cook. I've never eaten a homemade meal that was this good. It's amazing. I don't need tomorrow to come. This can be my final meal. You're being dramatic. I just made something using food that was around. Huh? I'm saying if I have more stuff, I can make better food. How much should I pay you? Hmm, I'll tell you what. If you let me live here, we can call it square. Do you mean live with me? Yeah, I'll cook, clean, and even sleep next to you. Sleep next to me? Huh, even a sleeping man like you finds sleeping next to a woman appealing. Well, I've got so much stress that it's not like I have any interest in doing anything. Whatever. Anyways, you okay with me staying here, right? My name is Ryo Yoshinaga. I'm Riku Kishijima. And so, this strange life of living with Miss Yoshinaga began. Life continued as usual with me pouring most of my time and effort into work, but it was a little more spicy with how unpredictable Miss Yoshinaga was. You really work too much. You can't rest a little? If resting was an option, I would have chosen it a long time ago. But I have a certain game going on with my company, so I can't just quit now. What game? If I collapse first, or the company collapses first. <laughs> Stop being an idiot and go to bed. Ow! I gotta goof off or I'll burn out. Are there no fun things in your life? No. That was a fast reply. I mean, I think about it often, but I can't come up with anything. Do you want me to do something you won't believe then? Huh? Um, what are you doing exactly? I'm making your nails the same length and polishing the surface. I don't think there's much point. I'm not even a girl. I don't mess with nails. Really? I think you'll be a little happier. I'm not sure. Whoa! My nails are squeaky clean! Yeah, you don't care. <laughs> Your nails are pretty damaged, so I'm going to fix them up slowly. 
If you do it quickly, you'll damage your nails. Once we're finished, people will wonder if you get your nails done. Whoa! After that, she began doing my nails along with cooking and cleaning. I was a little shy about my nails becoming more and more feminine, but they were so shiny. I was really enjoying the time with her. I'm wondering if other parts of me would shine if I polished them every day. Yeah, maybe. I hope so. I can skip the part where I scrape it off, though. There's an easy way. You quit. I'll help you until you find your next job. Wait, you have a job? I own and run five nail salons in the city. What? You're the CEO? You shouldn't be doing nothing at my house! Actually, I've taught all my employees how to run things themselves. If something happens, they contact me, but to be honest, nothing ever happens, so I usually just sit around. Is there a reason you're this way? Did you want to run away from work or something? Not at all. Oh, okay. I just got drunk and fell asleep. Then I met you. I wanted to make you say, I'm so glad I'm alive. Then you're going to save the planet one day when the aliens arrive. That's a no from me. Why? <laughs> After that, I quit my job and began helping her business. As a seasoned office worker, I was able to pick up on all the basics very quickly. Miss Yoshinaga was extremely happy with my performance, and I have learned how fun work can be. More than anything, I realized how special this person was to me. A few years later, hey, remember how I said I would never try to protect the world from a world invasion? I remember. I take it back. If aliens showed up, I wouldn't have any option but to fight. Daddy! I am so lucky to realize how great the world is. I'm not afraid of tomorrow anymore. My name is Mizuki Tokui. I am 17. I have a sister who is 8 and her name is Ayame. I would take a bullet from a younger sister. <laughs> ah, shit! You okay, Ayame? Oh, thank you. You saved me. You're welcome. My sister is literally an angel. My sister is the most important thing in my life. I don't want her to ever experience any amount of danger in her life. Dang, I forgot to buy milk. Do you want me to go buy some? Are you sure you want to go alone? Yeah, I'm in elementary school. I can handle it. Okay, then can I ask you to go buy some other stuff too? Sure! Don't drop your shopping list and money, okay? Yes, ma'am! No! No, 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 no! You cannot go shopping alone. It's too dangerous. It's a few minutes from here to the store. She's got an anti-crime buzzer, too. Yeah, see? No, that's not enough. Take me with you. Uh, I don't care how cute you are. I'm not letting you go alone. Uh, dang it! You're too protective! I can go shopping alone! I'm going now! Wait, I am here. Hang on. I decided to follow my sister because I was too worried. Man, look at how cute she is when she walks. And for her to go shopping alone, she's really grown up. Hello. I'm sorry, I'm busy. What are you doing? You're very suspicious. Shut up, let me focus here. I see, you're a suspicious individual. Suspicious? What the hell? Officer! No, no, you misunderstand. That girl is my sister! You're a liar. You just think all the young girls around the world are your sister, right? No, my sister is one in a million. Only I am a... Excuse me, officer. This man is really my brother. Are you sure? He was taking pictures of you. I know. He always does that. I'm sorry for causing trouble. Dang it, Mizuki! Please stop this! I'm sorry. Whatever, let's just go. My sister is the best thing ever. Oh, hey, Ayame! Hey, Ken! Are you shopping too? Yeah, for my mom! <laughs> Me too! What the hell is this kid? How dare he talk to my kid like he's some kind of friend? And what's up with this lady? How dare she glare at my... 
Wait a second. Hi. I'm just wondering why you think that it's okay for your younger brother to be chatting up my sister so casually. Actually, your sister seems to be thinking it's alright to talk to my younger brother. I understand my younger brother is just a sight to behold, but please. My sister actually would make anyone pass out, so I understand too. I see that you are like me. How about we trade some information, just for the future? Here's my number and my chat ID. Understood. If there's some strange behavior between these two, we share immediately. I traded my contact information with Miss Nagi, which happened to be my mortal enemy's sister. She was also a 17-year-old high schooler. After that, it became a daily routine to brag about each other's siblings. Nagi, this is the world's most adorable baby. Ha! Huh, you wish! My sister is the cutest baby in the world! Although Nagi was my mortal enemy's sister, we had a lot in common with each other. And as the years went on, I and Ken became middle schoolers. Hey, listen! Man, she's so adorable even as a middle schooler. What's up? I'm dating Ken now! Hello, Miss Nagi? Did you hear about it? Yes. Would you like to go out for some drinks? <sighs> I knew the day would come, but I kept ignoring the fact that it might actually come true. No matter how hard I tried to prepare for it, I cannot get over it. How do I live life like this? Oh, at least it was Ken and not some random person. Oh, I think so too. If it wasn't Ayame, I don't think I'd be able to stay sane. Maybe we need to move on. Miss Nagi... But my brother is like the better half of me. I just can't leave him. It's like half of me is just gone. I feel the same way. It's like there's a giant hole in my heart. Don't look so sad. Oh, your hand is actually freezing. You have a warm heart looking after your sister. Don't let this get you down. It brings me down too. I feel the same way. I don't like seeing or hearing about you being so down. Hey, Nagi, how about we support each other since both of us just lost our better half? We can probably help each other up. I guess with two halves we make one complete person. <laughs> I guess that's a good idea. And that's how Nagi and I started dating. What? You and Ken's brother are dating now too? That's amazing! It's a miracle! I'm happy too. I just want you to be happy, sis. I'm so glad that they're so happy about us dating. <laughs> Looks like we made the right decision. We should just get married on the same day too. <laughs> Ooh, a double marriage! I'd be so interested! What a great idea. This turned out as amazing as I'd hoped. But that'll probably be a while from now considering we're still in middle school. We'll wait. A few years later, after I am and Ken became legal, we all got married at the same time. Needless to say, the ceremony was more than anyone could ever hope for. My name is Takumi Kataoka. I'm an 18-year-old in high school. When I was four, my father had an accident at work and passed away. We were always poor growing up, being in a single mother household. You can tell by how much I used my things. All my classmates made fun of me, but I didn't care, because I have a goal. It doesn't matter, dude. You're not going to go to college because you're poor as dirt. And you won't be able to find good work either. Yeah, talk about working hard in vain. The worst of the bunch would be Hiroki Minamikawa. He wouldn't stop pestering me. Hiroki's house is very wealthy. And he has many friends in class. I don't know why he won't leave me alone. I guess he just doesn't like me. Shut the hell up! If you keep working hard, you can achieve your goals. I mean, you gotta believe that when you grow up in a household like yours, <laughs> lol. Of course, I was jealous of Hiroki. His father ran an extremely famous architecture company, and is part of the reason why I want to become an architect myself. When I was small, I would be stunned at how beautiful his architecture was. I was moved to my core. Imagine your own father creating something incredible. He's still only human. Since my family is poor, I need to work hard to get into college. After studying very hard, I was able to get into the university's architecture program. I found a trove of books and documents I've always wanted to get my hands on in the library there. 
Hey, you're here often. There's a massive amount of information I've always been curious about here. I lose track of time when I'm here. Oh, hey, that book! I'm actually a massive fan of Seiji Minimikawa. Oh, really? Thank you for that. Huh? Why are you saying thank you? I'm his daughter, Alyssa. Nice to meet you. Thank you for complimenting my father. Wait, you're Hiroki's sister? I'm Takumi Kataoka. Your brother and I went to the same high school. Ah, so you're a year younger than me. Man, she really is beautiful. I wish my brother was as motivated as you are. I would see Elisa often in college, and she would always say hey. I became used to her presence. Days turned to weeks, turned to months. Eventually, I found myself at a job interview with Mini Mikawa's company. Why did you choose our company? Mr. Mini Mikawa's architecture always fascinated me as a child, and I couldn't stop staring at his work. I wanted to know immediately who designed this piece of work, and ever since then, I didn't look back. I also heard that you teach your new hires yourself, and I became even more interested in working for you. Uh, thank you so much! I gladly accept your offer! Mom! I got the job! That's wonderful, sweetheart! You've always wanted to be an architect. I am so sorry to not have been able to help as much as I'd hoped, but I'm so happy for you! At long last, I was able to work at my dream place. Every day was just a joy! Hey, Takumi, working hard? Every day. I can't get enough! We'll be on the same team later on, so I look forward to working with you. I'll be working on the utilities. Yes, ma'am! Elisa was incredibly kind to me, even though she had joined her father's company a year prior to me. However... Wow. Poor people come up with poor designs. You totally lack creativity. <laughs> LOL. Dude, give it back. Why does it matter? I'm still learning! Hiroki still looked down on me and would continue to berate me. He really didn't change at all from when he was in high school. And all the employees couldn't say anything about it because he was the CEO's son. Alrighty. Let's take a look at your work. I see your work is solid. I can see you have a solid grasp on the fundamentals. Keep it up, Kataoka! Th thank you, boss! I mean, sir! The CEO was even more amazing than I thought, and it didn't feel like a company with almost 200 employees. He was friendly and kind with each and every person. You could sense his passion in his work. How do you feel, Kataoka? Your work led to a successful building. You can't really explain it, can you? No, sir! After a year and a half of working, I can say that it was the best day of my life. After work that day, I had something more amazing happen to me in the elevator. Hey, Takumi, would you like to grab some dinner as a celebration? Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. Absolutely. I couldn't have possibly imagined going to dinner with my college crush. She's kind, beautiful, and has an amazing attitude towards work. I really like how hard you work. Don't pay any attention to Hiroki, okay? Thank you. It's really okay. I appreciate your compliments. Hey, if you want, do you want to become partners? You know, beyond work. Would you be alright with that? Oh, of course I'd be alright with that! Please! Let's! Today is really the best day ever! Hitting Elisa only made me even more entranced with my work. Four years after I joined the company, I became a grand architect. Don't even brag you became a grand architect before me. You're still poor, and your ideas are still shit. First off, I'm not going to brag. And second off, my hard work paid off. I haven't been able to produce anything yet, but I'm hoping to be able to create something that will one day astonish people. <laughs> like my dad? <laughs> LOL. You're never going to get to that point. <laughs> Whatever. I'm sure you know how poor people think, so... Go ahead and design shit for poor people. You need to cut it out. Just because he grew up in a poor household, it doesn't deny the hard work and time he's put in to get where he is. What matters is what he does now. You should rethink your ideas too. You're judging customers by how much they're able to pay? 
Sir! Alisa! Uh, I'm just joking! Kadoka joined this company because he admired my work. I could see it in his eyes. He had high hopes and dreams the second I looked at him. But look at you. You had all the chances, all the wealth, and yet you never took your education seriously. You join the company and fool around. You don't even study to get your certifications. Did you think I would treat you specially because you're my son? I am your father, but I am also the CEO of a company that has a reputation. We love architecture here. Exactly. Have you seen Takumi's designs? They're incredible. He always has a delicacy and soft touch with the customer's best interest in mind. You can tell as soon as you look at his work. I actually always felt envious of you, Hiroki. You were the son of an architect, and your work was always creative. Maybe you don't have the fundamentals down, sure. But I can just tell you grew up under the CEO's wing. I still feel jealous at times. To kill me. I'm sorry for my son. Thank you for being so incredibly loyal. It's okay, sir. Your designs of personality both make me feel confident that one day, maybe this office will be in the hands of you and Elisa. If you don't like that, then you better work hard, Hiroki. From that day on, Hiroki began treating me like a regular human. He would strike up conversation and bring me coffee from time to time. Maybe it's because he knew the CEO was serious. Hey, Takumi? Can you help me with studying for the certification? Of course! I'm okay with you being a CEO. I'm not as good as you. And I'm definitely not as passionate about this position. What? I saw your design before. It was incredible. I had always been scared of you since high school. I thought that I would just take on my father's work because that's how things were. Uh-huh. But you never gave up. You always looked forward and studied so hard. I got so frustrated that I had a handout, and yet I couldn't get to where you were. Actually, I had something I wanted to talk to you about. This is between you and me, but how do you feel about being the creative designer? You can join the team with Elisa and I. I'll take care of the blueprints, and Elisa can design the utilities. Then, maybe we can beat the CEO at his own game. Alright, I'm down! I'd like to believe that if you don't give up, you can reach your goals. I'm punching out! Alright, see you tomorrow! I'm so exhausted. Kazuki, welcome home! Hi, Mayu! Oh man, I'm tired! It sounds like a tough day. By the way, I checked out the wedding hall today. It was great! I'm sorry for not helping more. Don't worry, you're busy. I'm only doing office work, so it's fine. But is it okay if I decide everything on my own? Of course! If you have to wait for me, you'll never finish planning the wedding. You can do what you want, but try not to spend too much money. Don't worry, I won't. Oh, this is delicious! You're such a good cook. Stop, you're embarrassing me. It's Mayu. Mayu? Oh, your sister? Her three children must still be awake at this hour, right? Her husband's taking care of the kids now. But from what I've heard, it doesn't sound like he's a very good father. Actually, I'm a little bit worried about her. Hello? Is this Miyu Sino's sister? Yes, that's me. Why are you calling from Mayu's phone? I'm calling from Sakai Emergency Hospital. There's been an accident. An accident? Is Miyu okay? Hiyori! Mayu! Hiyori! Apparently, one of the girls was about to get hit by a car. Miyu managed to push her out of the way, but... Oh, no. What about Miyu? We tried our best, but... Oh, my God. Apparently, Miyu's sister organized the funeral. Her husband said it was too much trouble. They have three children, right? Will the children be okay with a father like that? I heard their marriage wasn't going well, but not showing up at your wife's funeral? You don't need to come, Kazuki. You're busy, right? Yeah, but I'm worried about the girls. 
He did what? Yes, he told us his daughters wouldn't be coming to daycare anymore. He didn't give us a reason. What's going on? Mayu, let's get to their house. Nobody's home. Are you friends of the family that lives here? Yes, my sister lived here. She died recently and I was worried about the children. Are her children all right? What do you mean? Her husband said that your sister's life insurance came in, but that he couldn't take care of the children anymore. He's planning to put them in an institution. What? Let's go to some nearby childcare facilities and see if we can find them. Kazuki, look! Don't cause a scene! Come with me! What are you doing? Mayu! What are you doing here? Are you putting your daughters in an orphanage? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. There's no way I can take care of them. But you're their father! Be realistic. Help me around. It'll be impossible to take care of them. But you got the insurance money, right? That's got nothing to do with it. Your wife just died. Aren't you sad? Don't you love your children? Our family was already falling apart. And seriously, do you really want me taking care of these three girls? Fine. I'll take care of the girls. You can do whatever you want. What? I'm sorry, Kazuki. I'm going to be these girls' mother from now on. You should just break up with me. What are you talking about? My feelings for you haven't changed. What? I want to be their father. I'm not just saying that. I really mean it. Kazuki... You want to do long-haul deliveries now? Didn't you just get married? And without any wedding ceremony, don't you want to spend more time with your wife? Yeah, but I need the money. Long-haul deliveries are exhausting, but it's all for the children. Finally! Back home again. Welcome home, Kazuki. I'm back! Hi, Shiori. Yori. Lordy. Hiyori, let's go in the other room. I don't think they like me. Don't worry about it, Kazuki. It's not just you. Because of their dad, they seem to be wary of any adult man they meet. Shiori especially. I think she just wants to protect her sisters. I guess it's not surprising. I'll be okay. I won't give up, and I'm sure one day they'll come around. Kazuki, thank you so much. The girls are unlucky to have a dad like that. Mayu can give them a mother's love. And I... I'm going to try to give them a father's love. It won't be easy, but I'll do my best. What a nice day! It's great to be out here together with the family. I'm sorry, Kazuki. I'm sure you would have rather relaxed at home. Not at all! I hardly get to see you guys, so I'm happy that we get to go out together. Today's going to be fun, right? Oh, boy. But I won't give up. Mayu, Pee Pee. Okay, let's go. Kazuki? Sure, I'll look after the other two girls. Do you want to play hide and seek? I won't give up. Hi, boss. For Friday? Okay. I want mommy. Mom's not coming back. There's nothing we can do. No! I want mommy! I'll take care of you, okay? Don't cry, Hiyori. Mommy! Oh! Mommy! Mommy! Hiyori? Huh? Hiyori! Hiyori! I'm... I'm so sorry. It's all my fault. Hiyori, don't worry. It'll be okay. Everything's going to be okay. <sighs> Kazuki! Oh, thank God! Uh, ouch! Mayu! Uh, is this a hospital? We were so worried. You stopped Yori from getting hit by a car. I seem to remember something like that. It's all my fault. I'm so sorry. I thought you were going to be like Mom. Don't worry. I'm gonna be fine. Oh, Daddy! Hiyori, he's not our daddy. What? He's our father. He's nothing like our dad. 
And this is our mother. Father? Mother? Yes. We're your mother and father now. The doctors and nurses are all surprised at how fast you recovered. I told you I was tough. Now, it's time to make back all the money we lost while I was in the hospital. I'm off to work. Have a good day. Have a Have good, a good day. day. My name is Yuki Mizumi. I work at an IT company I started with about eight other employees. We're in our fourth quarter, and we've been very successful with our new food EC site. Man, I'm tired. I'm too tired to cook. I guess I'll just Uber Eats. Oh, my dish is speaking! I'd like a cashew bowl and sour pork and gyoza, please. I'm at the Sakura Cho, 43. XX, Imazumi. I'm at the new Sakura Cho Tower, right next to the station, room 3105. I was very poor as a child, and I knew I wanted to become rich. It worked as motivation for me to study and work hard. This is the result of that. However, I can be pretty sarcastic. One of the reasons why I'm such a smartass is because of one of my old classmates. It still haunts me. You're too much of a smartass on top of being poor. What? How are you so rich with no patience? My food was here after about 30 minutes. I'm here with your ramen. Is this the same girl that always made fun of me for being poor? I never would have guessed I'd meet up with this girl after this much time. Wait, Imazumi? I never expected you to be living in such a nice apartment. That's crazy. You were so poor when you were in school. It was absolutely the girl I remembered. But her family owned a giant chain of hot spring resorts, in addition to a Chinese chain around the country. Maybe the company went under. Now's my chance. I see. You're working at a ramen store now, part-time, huh? Yeah, it's my father's store, but... I was terrible in this moment. I was happy to see my old classmate working a minimum wage job. I felt good knowing I was better off than she was. Why? Your family was rich. Some kind of social experiment or something? Shut up! It has nothing to do with you. I have my reasons. Your food's gonna get cold if you don't hurry up. That's so weird. She really was stupid rich. Oh! Yujima's trying to pay back her family's loans after their business went under. She's working hard from what I've been told. I know you didn't like her. Oh my gosh. This food is delicious. Yeah, I remember. She would always mess with me for being poor. That was so annoying. No, you definitely teased her too, lol. She's not that bad of a person. After that day, I started ordering delivery from that ramen store often. I held a grudge after what she did to me, and I loved the look on her face when she'd come to deliver me food. It was perfect. Here, I don't need the change. Thank you. <laughs> How's it feel to get a donation from someone who managed to stop being poor? I even ordered for the entire office to see my old enemy in pain. Thanks for the hard work, guys. I'm gonna order some nice Chinese. Whoa, this is amazing. Look at the meat. This gyoza and shumai are really amazing. The meat is just perfect. Let's all eat. Here's the money. You guys can keep the change. Thank you, as always. Thank you. I wasn't done yet. I hold grudges. I ate so much salad to make sure I could eat all the oily Chinese food. That's how serious I am about revenge. Wait, you brought people? Dad, Mom, this is the old classmate that's ordering all the time. Thank, Thank you, you for, for your patronage. patronage! The Chinese food here is really good, so I wanted everyone to give it a shot. Really? As it was about to be my 14th delivery of ramen, Thank you for always ordering from us. You ordering from our restaurant is really helping us, and my family thanks you too. Here, have this. 
Isn't this an annual free ramen pass? Why? I mean, it's the least we can do for you. Thank you so much. Of course, my motivations were elsewhere. But I actually felt much better knowing that I was helping her out. No, it's fine. I'm glad I could help you out. I'll keep ordering from now on, okay? Um, thank you. I know I wasn't nice to you during our time in high school, so I'm sorry. In that moment, for a brief moment, I thought she was cute. Her honesty was heartwarming. I could never be so honest and apologize. Don't worry about it. I definitely would have worried about it a second ago, but... After this fact, I started ordering more and going by the restaurant more often. Away, oh, hey, Mr. Imazumi! Thanks for stopping by! Mr. Imazumi, are you sure you should be eating so much Chinese food? We appreciate it, but... I only eat vegetables outside of the Chinese food, so it's totally fine. You live in a super nice house. Um, I actually have a suggestion if you guys want to talk about it after you're done with work. I work as an administrator for a food EC site. It's my company's main source of revenue. I was wondering if you were interested in selling some of your food as frozen food. That way, I could list it on our site and maybe get some attention and money for you. I'm sorry if I'm being intrusive, but I heard you guys were in debt from an old classmate. That's correct. We've been working hard to gather up some money and invest, but I'm sorry. We aren't there to make that leap yet. How about trying it once? I'll cut the initial fees. Don't worry about any ad fees either. That's way too much to ask for. I appreciate it, but... Hmm. It's actually not that difficult to make certain dishes popular. I know how the system works. The most important part is the actual flavor of the food. I know how to sell it. Let's give it a shot. He's trying so hard to make this work. We should give it a shot and do our best for Mr. Imazumi. Are you sure, Imazumi? Of course. Three weeks later. Oh my gosh, look! The frozen food section! Our gyoza is number one! That's crazy! Way to go, Mr. Imazumi! It was definitely expected. The food sold out so quickly that they had to hire another part-time worker to make sure the demands are being met. I'm glad everyone's happy. Do you think we can sell the beef and crab if we vacuum seal it? I think so. After a year and a half, the family was able to return all of the loans that were taken out. I'm so glad I was able to return all the loans. I thought it would take us 10 years. I'm seriously too grateful to even formulate a sentence. Mom and Dad never smiled this much. Thank you. I'm glad I could help, but it's sold because it really tastes good. <laughs> I was always encouraged by your kind words, me and my family. Half a year later, I became engaged to Yujima. I occasionally help out on weekends. I did not expect you two to get together. You were always arguing. Yeah, literally worst enemies. <laughs> I didn't know that he was such a good guy. I would have been more friendly to him if I'd known. I only became a good guy recently. What do you mean? Never mind. I didn't tell anyone that I ordered ramen because I was trying to get revenge. I hope that Ujima's love would fix my twisted sarcastic logic one day. My name is Jinya Manai. I work as a manager at the Golden Egg. I should check up on Elisa now. Hey Elisa, did you make it to TME? Yeah, you seriously worry too much. I got here early. Oh, okay. Let me know when you're done over there. Understood. Lisa Ninomiya, a great, hard-working talent. She's a great talker, and she's been slowly growing her presence in various TV shows. Mr. Jin, we finished recording. Why weren't you there? Mai Yotsuya is one of the hardest-working talents we have. She's a new and upcoming singer. We've been working hard to find a record, but so far, no luck. That's because I trust your singing. I'm sure you did great, right? I'll get the source audio later. <laughs> you always know 
know how to motivate me. I hope I can get Maya a nice deal like Sakura and Elisa. I'm never going to lose! I will win! You got this, bro! Oh, hey! This is that anime that was recorded the other day. Yeah, it was great! You have two more, so keep it up! Yay, thank you! Mei Igarashi, a positive and bright voice actor. She's still new, but she's got plenty of potential to grow. I hope one day I can get her a position at a regular TV show and not just late night animes. Jen is looking at nudies. It's literally just a swimsuit collection. She's also worked here before you. Erica Miura. She's been working as a talented gravure model. She's very young, but she has experienced a lot, and it shows. Erica? We were just talking about you. What? You're talking to someone other than me? I kinda have to. <laughs> anyway, I think your shoot went well. Thank you. I'm happy when I meet your expectations. Good! You have another photo shoot in the city, so I'll text you the details. Erica's been getting some fame with how well she handles herself. We should consider getting her into talk shows. Jin, you look like you've got a lot going on. Sakura and Elisa are pretty popular, but I feel like they could do more. The boss would stop dragging us down. He keeps bringing gigs that newbies would do. And of course, a lot of swimsuit shoots. Besides Erica, the other girls don't want that. Plus, I don't like that he takes offers without talking about me first. And they don't get paid enough either. They should be better compensated. Sakura, we're time to be calling. Mene, I'm so sorry. I want to talk to you. Can I meet up with you somewhere? Is she crying? Of course. Usually we don't meet outside as it can draw unwanted attention. But she didn't want to meet at the office, so I headed to her apartment. Come in. This is Sakura Ichijo. She's the biggest of the bunch in our agency. She can be a little goofy sometimes, but she's an honest and hard worker. So, what's going on? My boss told me about a gig. Why is the boss talking directly to the talent without going through me first? He... he wanted me to sleep around for business. Well, what? That old fart wants her to be a whore? I've never done anything like that before. What if I snore while I'm sleeping with them? Maybe they're gonna be really upset. What? Besides, every bed is different. I don't know how to sleep in every bed. I asked the boss and he told me that I should know since I'm old enough. Wow. He told me that the gig is going to be next week and I just don't know how to sleep with someone. And I'm so worried and... Calm down. That's not what the boss was talking about. I mean, that's still better than what he's talking about. Anyway, you should never do that, okay? Of course, he shouldn't be taking jobs like that anyway. He's freaking crazy if he thinks I'm gonna let one of my talents do that. Just forget about that job, okay? That little shit. I always knew he treated our talent like shit, but I'm fed up with it. As soon as I left Sakura's apartment, I called the boss up. Boss! What the hell are you directing Sakura to sleep around for? You! Don't call the freaking CEO's number at this hour! That's a normal thing to do in the entertainment world! You're dead wrong if you think there's only one right way to climb the ladder! The entertainment world is made up of dirty relationships! It's not as simple as just staying clean and true! Are you serious? You don't believe in our talent? They can climb the ladder without doing such things! You are truly a criminal! Who the hell do you think you're talking to? If you can't follow what I say, you're fired! Damn it. It was definitely unreasonable, but I shouldn't have gotten emotional about it. Now I can't protect her. However... Guys? Sakura was worried about you, so she asked us for help. Then we heard about you getting let go and our managers being changed. But that's not it. I had taken some gigs too, but I wasn't sure if I should handle it on my own or talk to you for help. I thought that maybe it was a road you had to take to become a star. I don't know, but I thought it was work, so... Wait, what? What are you all talking about? 
The boss offered all of us to sleep around as a gig, too. We recorded the conversation because we were so suspicious about it all. I didn't really think about it, but I recorded a video of him forcing us to handle clients at a private bar. What are you all planning on doing? We're gonna follow you. We want to work with you. We've decided together. Let's all fight this. So you want me to become independent? Jin! Mr. Manager! Mr. Jin! Jin-chan! Mr. Mane! Okay. Several of the office employees, the Talon and I, spoke and decided that we would go to war with the agency. What do you have to say about the article? Did you force the Talon to sleep with your clients? After this whole incident was brought to light, the agency was found of tax evasion and illegal services. The agency quickly vanished after that. I didn't know he was in such deep shit. We have nowhere to go back to now. The talents and other employees all created a new agency. We also had Elisa and Sakura borrow money using their fame, but we're still far from rich. Are you guys sure about this? If it's cool with you, of course. I'm actually happy about it. Me too. Let's do this. Won't be quiet anytime soon. I'm not sure if this is my heaven or hell. We all work from our office, aka our home, together. My name is Harato Imori. I'm 33, and I work simple jobs every day. <sighs> this is so miserable. I really miss the kitchen. The reason I'm living this kind of life is because I have some mental trauma. The reason because of that, I worked as a chef, and the days were filled with joy. But then, the owner had to go and gamble away all the money. Then he ran the restaurant into the ground after taking out a lot of loans. Maki, my fiancé I live with, cheered me on, but... Don't worry, Haruto. You're a great chef. Just start a new store. The next day, I couldn't find my credit card. And I realized that the 80k that I had saved for the marriage ceremony had been withdrawn. The money was gone. 80% of that was my own money. Whatever! I don't want to do anything! This is just how life is now! Hey, mister. You've been here often. Are you homeless? What are you talking about? I don't live here. It's only been about three months. That's a pretty long time. Why are you staring at a closed-down restaurant? Maybe you're starving? Are you hoping someone will give you food? No! I used to work at the restaurant as a chef. <laughs> a chef? You're lying. You don't look like any chef I've seen. I know right now. I had some things come up. Go away! Okay, then. If you're really a chef, try this. Tell me what you think. What is this? Rolled cabbage? She kept it warm and brought it here? Did I really look like I was starving that badly? Don't worry about the little things. Give it a shot. <sighs> I didn't expect to have to taste loss after working as a chef. Mmm! Well? You're doing a good job using nutmeg to get rid of the gamey flavor. But nutmeg itself is a strong scent. It's hard to cover it up. But you're using sour plum to hide that. Hmm. Interesting. You're also using the nutmeg to cancel out the flavor of the cabbage, aren't you? Whoa! You can tell? It's harder to tell because of the seasoning, but vegetables also have a gamey scent. You can use spices and herbs to get rid of that too. Nutmeg is especially good for that with cabbage. You've potato in here too. You're using rosemary for that. Rosemary is a great flavor to add to this dish too. That adds personal touch to it. You had one bite and you figured all that out? You really are a genius. What is this dish missing? Hmm. I think it's pretty darn good as it is, but... Salt. It needs a little salt. You're too concerned with the gamey scent that all the seasoning and herbs need to be balanced with a pinch of salt. You're the real deal. Come with me. 
Whoa! I'm still eating! This is a store that opened two months ago. It's temporarily closed right now. I found a place to open and the funds to start a business. But then, the chef... I'm sorry. I screwed up my back. I don't think I can cook anymore. But, but... That was a day before we opened. I didn't know what to do, so I opened all on my own. But it wasn't good enough to bring in the customers. So, I have a suggestion. You want to cook, but you have no kitchen. I have a kitchen, but I have no chef. How about we run this door together? Just because you can cook doesn't mean that it'll work out. What kind of store do you want to run? I... I want a store that is so memorable that people can't forget it. I want people to make memories they can cherish forever here. Ten years ago, I went into a nice little restaurant with my grandma. The food was great, but more than anything, I could really enjoy my time with her. She couldn't walk well, so she was in a wheelchair, but she loved the food, so I loved going with her. I want to provide that kind of store to my customers. I see. You knew I was a chef from the beginning, didn't you? <laughs> you figured it out. I could tell by the burns on your wrist. Do you have a notebook or something? Huh? I had one bite of your cabbage roll. I'll forget real quick about the flavor. I won't be able to cook it well. I'm gonna look over your entire menu. You can be the owner, and I'll be the chef. You can also be the sous chef. If that's good with you, then I'll make sure this store is memorable to everyone. My name is Zimori Harato. I'm Mega Ono. Pleasure doing business with you. After that day, I restarted my career as a chef. The store is in an area with primarily elderly and retirees. We should try using a simpler taste. Simple? I didn't even think of that! Maybe we can try some dashy... Mmm! This is delicious! Good. Let's try that then. We need a few dishes for the younger customers. Maybe some dessert. We should make those desserts a little more impactful. After the menu is completed, we reopened and handed out some flyers to the area around us. Since it was a renewal opening, there will be some familiar faces. However, because there was only the two of us, we hired a part-time employee as help. The menu was perfect, and the word quickly spread of our opening. Many people came to our store, and even some gourmet magazines showed up to interview. I can't believe I sat in a park drunk and all alone. I'm so glad to be back in the kitchen. Welcome! Hello, Harito. I saw your article. M maki I told you. I knew you could do it. I believed in you. Did you actually show up here? What the hell are you thinking? Because I wanted to get back with you. I couldn't resist the temptation within my chest. Shut the hell up. Give me my money back. I'll give it back if you marry me. Let go! Getting in the way of my work. I'll report you to the police. If you marry me, I'll do anything. Pardon me, can we help you? I heard you from the other room, but apparently you stole money from him. I was actually just talking to a lawyer about your case and how it can be considered larceny. Would you like to go talk in that room over there? Come on. Wh what After the store slowed down, Maki was talking to Megu and the lawyer for a while. She left the store looking defeated. Thank you. I'm heading out now. Thanks. See you tomorrow. Sorry about today. With Maki. Don't worry about it. I got her to sign some paperwork to give you your money back after a little while. I, uh... I appreciate it. I never really thought I'd be back in the kitchen. I have to thank you. What's going on? I wanted to give this to you. If you want. I'd like to give you my love along with my skills as a chef. <laughs> yes! Just like nutmeg is necessary for meals, Megu's love is necessary for my daily life. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.